guys welcome to another video on trip rides in this video we're going to talk about how to become a driver we're going to go through the entire process of becoming a driver and then after i show you that process we're going to talk about we're going to talk about all the misconceptions and misunderstanding about becoming a driver some of you guys have false information about becoming a driver we're going to explain that right after the video i'm going to let Cheyenne take you through the process of signing up then after she get done with that video then I'm going to explain some of the misconceptions that people have about trip rides. Thank you. All right, everyone. So we are going to get this show on the road. Like I said, we're going to go over how to sign up as a driver. We're getting a ton of questions for that and kind of walk through the back office. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in the Q&A section. We do have Vince here with us who's going to be answering those as we go. And then we'll also go over them at the end if need be. So first we're going to go ahead and get started with how the apps look and what you need to do to be able to get in. So this is going to be your very first step. We have a lot of people saying, how do I sell restaurants? How do I sell restaurants? How do I sell restaurants? You have to be approved first in the system. So even if you were in the system in the past, you still have to log into either your dashboard or download the app and upload your documents. By documents, we mean your driver's license and things like that that we'll go over in this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the video. So when you go into the app store and you type in trip delivers, you're gonna have two choices. You're going to have the rider app and the driver app. So in this instance, we are going to download the driver app. Once it's in your phone and you go to log in, it's going to ask you for your phone number. It's also going to ask you to allow for location and allow for push notifications. Allow both of those things. Put in your phone number and it's going to generate a one-time passcode. When you get that passcode, you're going to enter it and hit submit. It's then going to bring you to your driver signup page. You're going to enter your first name, last name. You're going to create your referral code. You can either create it from scratch or from what they generate in the system for you. I'm going to enter in my email address and my gender, all the standard information, birth date, and my address, of course. It's going to populate for the pre-populated auto addresses, which is great. Save you a little bit of time there. Go in and add your zip code. and your social. So you're going to hit submit and it's not going to let me and it's going to remind me that I have to hit that blue little select city button there and select my city. They're all listed here but it is much easier to use the search button or feature along the top so I'm going to type in my city Currently, all the cities are being populated, but if your city does not populate, pick the city closest to you. I'm going to pick that I have a car. And my email address was already registered on my rider account. You cannot have your email address on both your rider and your driver account because you cannot toggle back and forth. So you do have to put in a new email and hit submit. So it's then going to bring you to those documents that you have to upload. So I'm going to start first with my state issued ID. You can either take a new photo or choose from your photo book. So I had these items already prepared. So then I'm going to do my driver profile image. It's just going to remind us here to take it from the shoulders up and no hat or sunglasses. Again, same thing from the, take a photo or from your photo book. I'm then gonna put in my license plate number and put in a picture. I was not prepared to do a picture of my tag number or my license plate, so I'm just going to take a picture. Clearly do not wanna do this because A, that picture was super blurry and B, it will definitely be denied because it's not obviously my license plate. 
So then your vehicle registration. Also had it already prepared. Go back up to that driver photo and upload that. And then you're going to agree to the terms and conditions. Now it says that we're missing some photos. And so I don't know what we're missing because everything shows uploaded. So if you just click in one by one, oh, I found it. So our state ID was missing the back of the ID. So we just want to, again, get that uploaded as the back. And then we are missing the second page of our vehicle registration. So we're going to find that one. Just a matter of kind of checking and seeing if there's any empty boxes. We know all of those. So vehicle registration, there we go. We still have the camera, which means it's giving us an option for a second page. Now, if you only have one page, I would just upload the same page twice. Hit agree. And then we are in and ready. So this means that we are in the background check process. It is submitting and it's going to give us a little notification that you'll receive notification once your documents have been verified. So if you click on to purchase, you cannot purchase until your items have been approved. So even if I had an older system or and I come in and I put in my phone number and I try to purchase again it will not let me purchase until I have uploaded my documents so once I've uploaded my documents you do have to wait to receive the email that all of your documents documents have been approved and then once that's been approved then you can go in and purchase as a driver the plan that you want to go on now, once that has been done, you are then able to purchase what plan you want and then... Okay, so after viewing that video, I hope you understand how to become a driver. It's really simple and easy. Just upload your documents and wait for your approval. Now, time to clear up some misunderstandings about being a trip driver. First and foremost, you do not pay anything up front. You will have to be approved by our corporate team to be able to drive. And then and only then will you be able to select a plan. Once you are approved, you can select a pro driver plan or a side hustle plan. The side hustle plan is $39.99 and the pro driver plan is $99.99. Another misconception is that you have to pay right away. You do not have to pay right away. You will only pay 30 days after you start driving. So once the market opened in your area, there will be enough restaurants to pick up orders for them and there will be enough customers to take orders too. So you will be able to pay for your membership just driving like you are doing right now. Another thing is that the rates that you're going to get on trip rides is that you will make $5.50 every single trip minimum. So Gone are the days where you might pick up a delivery and only get three dollars. No, the minimum that you can make over here is five dollars and fifty cents. Now, if that's not enough, guess what? You also pay a dollar per mile. So every mile that that order has to go out, you're going to get an extra dollar. So if so, if the order is three miles out, then you will make a dollar for every mile. So five plus three is eight dollars so you would make eight dollars for that delivery what if you did that ten times in a day just ten orders that would be eighty dollars in your pocket so some of you guys do a lot more than that the average driver should make between eight and ten dollars per delivery depending how far the delivery has to go now if that's exciting to you you should become a trip driver right now and just wait and become approved to become a driver and pick your plan and just start helping us build the market because the more that you help us build the market, the more money that you can make not only driving but also passively from riders and drivers that you refer to our platform. So like this video, share this video, and comment on this video so this video can start being ranked higher on the playlist. The way we're going to get this information out is if you do your part in helping us grow 
and so that when people search about trip deliveries, they can get the right information and not the wrong information. Thank you, and have a great day.